a bit different than yesterday, don't I? Um, I got the plague the family got. So, I haven't done anything all day. Uh, there is something, though, that's been sitting on my desk here that I've been wanting to deal with. I'm going to see if I can find a battery, get my uh, get my soldering station set up, and hopefully, hopefully knock this little project out. So what are we looking at here? Well, AVE, the YouTube channel, AVE, posted a, uh, what was it, a Pinterest post, something along those lines, for a ruler that he was making. Uh, and the ruler is interesting, has all kinds of little, little interesting parts on it, little sayings, uh, things that throw back from people who know the channel. Uh, but along with that, it also has a surface mount LED flashlight, and that's what this little simple project is. Except if you're not familiar with doing surface mounts, when I am generally not. Let's take a look at what this kit has. Uh, so it has a pre-printed, pre-printed board. You can see the leads here for the battery contacts that have been already in place. Um, there's a lead for an LED, and there's a lead for a little, little uh, uh, momentary switch. Uh, you can see the routes have already been ran because it's beveled up. You've got sizing gauges. You've got a regular, um, regular demarcation of centimeters. Imperial gap. The gap widths is probably the coolest thing. They have gap widths over here, but then they've got like gap widths over here for for chicks, and they use hair, which I think is uh, was pretty cool. AVE, if you're not following him, is a very interesting channel, um, which deserves your subscription. All right, so let's get out some solder. A trusty hemostats, I'm probably gonna need those. Let's think logically here. I'm left-handed, so I'm gonna relocate my T right in the middle of my project between my, oh, I didn't turn this thing on. Okay, well, I guess I'll be back in five minutes. Oh, that's right, there's a magnet too. Magnet. Mm. I don't have any epoxy with me right now. What should I use? I could use Gorilla Glue. Is that acceptable? Let's try. <clears throat> I also popped my neck. Oh man. When Ben shares a cold, it's always really, really bad. Um, there's colds. There's colds that you get from like people at work. This one though, wow. So I've never really surface mounted, surface mounted anything before. Um, this is gonna be a first for me. Um, I think I've done LEDs before, so I'll take that back because I think those are same surface mount. I believe the way you're supposed to do this, and I'm not gonna look it up because whatever, is you you tin you tin one of the pads and then you place the part and then you just come back around and and just do it. You just finish it up. <clears throat> Putting in this vise so that I can make it almost perfectly straight up and down, which I believe is important. And going from largest component, I'm sorry, going from smallest component to largest component is how I will do this. I buy these like water. Like water for chocolate. So what the hell am I looking at here? Was I supposed to supply my own LED? This project's not gonna go very far if I have to supply my own LED because I don't think I have one. Okay, so I have everything but the LED. What the hell? AVE. I did buy this, and so we did have a little go back and forth because uh, this disappeared. This never showed up the first time I ordered it. Looks like Feb 14th is the last time we uh, bumble fact and I uh, talked. That would be AVE. So we're minus one LED, but I have a magnet. Let's solder it up. So all I did there is I just waited until the temperature of the material, the plate, rised up to that of the tip. Once that happens, I was able to feed in some solder. And that's all you need to do. That's how you, well, regular surface mounting is a little bit more difficult than that, but you get the idea. So um, I think I'm just gonna go around and tip, tin these all. I'm sure I'm probably doing that wrong, but whatever. So the hemostats I'm just holding with, I'm not actually, I'm not actually locking it in or anything like that. I'm just gonna place right on top here. 
Okay, I'm not doing that again. That way. That was dumb. I understand now that I'm an idiot. Um, don't pretend, just just do it. Just lay your part down and then just just tack, just hit it with the solder. You're just you're just making things more difficult for yourself. I'm sure I'm gonna have the opposite feeling when I try and do this right now, but we'll see. Yeah, that was a little bit more uh more messy than I expected it to be. I'm gonna turn this thing around a bit. I almost shoved this into my tea. That's good. That'll get me electrocuted. That's exactly what I need to do. Um, I'm gonna get my a meter of some kind. Now I get to show off my chopstick action. Yeah, good positive contact right here. So what I've been trying to do is is make my my multimeter see the see the actuation. Boom. All right, we're good. I don't know. You can, hopefully, you can see that. Here, I'm, I'm hitting the button now. Yep, we're there. Okay. So um, that's all. I'm, I'm checking for continuity. It's a battery. I'm not really worried about. That's how you do that, pretty much. So I realized I did have some glue for the magnet. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of that real quick. This is gel. Okay. I, I picked this up at the Dollar Tree. Happen to oh, happen to also have a collar stay here. Pull this magnet out. The magnet will cause this to really get bumbled up. All right, Let's neodymium it. Grosser than I thought it would be. It's like snot. I'm gonna get a piece of card actually. Let me let me clean this off. Just scrape the residue off. So the gel feels like it's a lot less. There's a lot less immediacy with the gel super glue. Kind of smells nice. No, it's also like super glue. <laughs> Stop. All right, still a little sick. Uh, day two here. I found out the LEDs I need. Uh, I got to pick up some batteries, nine volts LEDs. So coming to Radio Shack. Radio Shack's my local spot. Um, that's close. They don't have the best um, options on parts, but um, it's it's not bad to come here. Anyway, let's go check it out. Okay. I did a big old battery haul because they had these massive deals on 9 volts and 2025s, which is what I need for the ruler. Um, there are two batteries that I have a need for, not often enough that I don't ever stock, uh, that I don't ever have enough on hand. I only have a couple of them and then I'll I'll use them and then we'll be done. And that's 9 uh, nine volt, I was going to say 9 millimeter, and, uh, and 2025. So hopefully I'll keep this going for a little while. I think this one will work. Radio Shack doesn't refer to these LEDs the same way that uh, Mr. AVE does. I contacted him on Etsy uh, via the sale, and he gave me some, you know, product number 12, 6, blah, blah, blah. He said I could buy them online for a buck or blah, 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 for a ton. But um, wanted it now, so went to Radio Shack, and I paid too much. Let's free this guy from his plastic. Boom. There it is, this little guy. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I just blew the LED off my table. Bad habits die hard. Don't ever blow around surface mount components. Don't ever do that. Okay, they're complete now. I went with a green LED, because that's what they had. Uh, they had a red, and a green, and a blue, and a white, and I went with green. Sometimes you have to know when to leave well enough alone. Well enough is right now, it works. A um, couple of cool things, 
It's got a magnet, neodymium magnet. Got that in place, that cured overnight. Um, I like the ring gauge. This is nice for bolts, both uh, metric and standard or imperial. It has uh, ruler ticks on the very edge of the ruler, which that's that's why that's why I like this thing. So you can see the ruler ticks. They all start right at the end. Start right there. It's exactly where you want to have your ruler start. It's also a penis. That's that's good. Got to have that. So start right there, right at the end. When you line it up, it's got a nice right angle, thick, thick line that you can you can draw off of. Pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the AVE. This is the AVE ruler. So big fan of this, big fan of his channel. If you have not subbed him yet, you should do that. I like AVE because he's kind of like the everyman uh, engineering type of dude. Practical engineering, which is really nice to have on YouTube. Not just textbook, but real, real get her done type crap. So if you're not already, uh, not already following him. You really should. Okay guys, that'll do it. Take it easy.